All right, so it's the rookie car hauler. And um, as you can see, I'm empty now. I got the vans off or whatever. So in, what, what I need to do at this point is um, I have to disconnect the trailer from the tractor because I gotta go drop the truck off at the shop. So in this video, I wanna make, uh, I just wanna make a video of uh, disconnecting, of how to disconnect a car hauler uh, tractor from the trailer. Um, because it's actually uh, somewhat different. It's, it's pretty, pretty much the same, but it's, it's a little different because you got hydraulic hoses on here. So it's, uh, let's see if I can show you. You got a couple of hydraulic hoses on here. So it's one on the left side and then one on the right side down there. So maybe you got a couple extra wires. So it's kind of similar, but you know, slightly different. Obviously there's no landing gear as uh, far as with the regular tractor. So anyway, first thing you want to do is you want to find your stands. Um, and of course this is for the rookies, obviously. So the stands are normally located as such right here, as you can see, these are the, these are the that's a stand right there. So you want to locate these on a trailer and they typically will be in the middle of the trailer and you just shift it out of there, boom. It's out of there already, okay? That's your landing gear. That's your landing gear for a car hauler. The size of my, it's smaller than my hand. That's all the landing gear you got for a car hauler, okay? So you wanna find your landing gear. There's one on this side and there's one over there on that side. Get your landing gear and there's actually a spot specifically for this on the, tra on the trailer. You see these little ridges right here? That's under here. So get your landing gear. You're supposed to be able to slide it in here, but this one is bent. A lot of a lot of them might be kind of bent or whatever, so you just kind of get it in there the best way you can. And that's it right there. That's your landing gear right there. You leave that right there. You go on the other side, same thing. It's a simple process. Other side of the trailer. Once again, you find your landing gear it's right here. Pull that out of there. Come down here. And this is a uh, this is a next a next gen trailer. Just so you know, it's a next gen trailer, quick loader. So you come back down here. Once again, you find your little spot. This one is even worse than the other one. It's really really bent right here, so I can't slide it in there. When it's like that, you just simply set it down on the ground. That's all. Set it right there. See that little space between there. See, I can't get it in there, can't get it in here. So I just set it right there. Then what you do, is you come over here and you actually, what you do is you, uh, you gotta let your, uh, let your airbags down on the trailer. That it, you dump the air out your trailer and that will, let me see, I only did, <laughs> I only did this one time, you know what I'm saying, before, but hey, that's what that's what it's about. It's the rookie car hauler. That's what we do. Okay, uh, hold up, let me go. Let me go up front. I'm supposed to be showing y'all how to do this, and I'm messing up myself. So anyway, let's go to the truck and uh find the dump bag, which is right here. That'll dump the air out of your trailer. So that'll, that'll release the trailer down, let the trailer drop down. So once the trailer drop down, you can hear the air coming out now. See, it's all the way down now, see? I can't even kick that. See, I can't even kick it. So once you dump your air out of your trailer, I mean your airbags, once you dump your airbags, that's actually out of the tractor. Yeah, it's going down here. Once you dump your airbags, it'll drop down. The trailer will drop down on your on your uh, landing gear. Once again, same thing over here. See how it's flush, it's, on, it's, it's under there now. So, that's locked in there. Then you come over here 
And that's when you start messing with this stuff. So you want to disconnect. Just let me see, remember, okay, I just gotta remember this. Alright, so you just take these off. This is a simple part. And they pretty much lay to the side. Take all your, your connectors out. All this stuff stays on the right side. This is a quick connect. Take that off. That, that's your hydraulic line. Okay. And this is a nine car hauler, by the way, for those who don't know. Take these off. Take this one out. This is your lights, I believe. Take this other quick connect off. These quick connects, you just simply pull this back and it pop, or let me see. No, forward, pull it forward. See that? Just simply push forward, push that way, and then it come right out. Another hydraulic line. So you keep all these to the right, I mean to the left rather. Keep all these to the other side. Keep these, all these lines to the other side. That way you don't get caught up. And if you do a little trick like I did, I put a zip tie on here. And then I put, I actually had a zip tie on here. It must've came off just so I can match those two up. Once you do that, it's all disconnected. As you can see, that's pretty much it. The final part is coming down here. There's a pin right here. You can see there's a pin. You gotta take this pin, pin out. This pin right here comes out and then you can lift this up. This is your safety pin. Make sure you put that back in there or actually put it here. Put it here just so you don't forget it. Cause this is all a part of the truck. So. Put the pin back in here so you don't forget it and you don't lose it because you want that's your safety pin you want to keep keep your safety pin safe okay then what you do is you just push this forward just like that i mean actually i'm sorry you pull it you got to pull out pull it out you got to pull out on it like such towards you supposed to come all the way out 